Hi, I'm Ed Oakley with Enlightened Leadership Solutions, and I'm here today with my friend A.J. Hiltonbrand, former director of Alcon Laboratories Executive Development Program. And currently, he's certainly affiliated with Enlightened Leadership and has been for years, and also has his own consulting company, Results uh, Consultants International Inc. Results Consultants International Inc. He's done an awful lot of international work, by the way. AJ and I were uh, actually, notice the golf shirts. There's a reason for the golf shirts. We were hitting a few golf balls together. And he mentioned one of the ways that Alcon, well, he, he had actually measured return on investment of the soft skills training that we were doing at the executive and high level management levels. And I said, oh my goodness, we, I've got a bunch of people who would love to hear that and like to, to learn you know, how he did that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to step out of the picture and uh, let AJ share with you an approach that actually got to return on investment after doing a couple of days of soft skills training, you know, like making managers into leaders soft skills training. And so please, take it away, AJ. All right. Well, it was literally uh, the making managers into leader, uh, leadership, uh, making managers into leaders uh, formatted material. Uh, everyone would like to measure return on investment. I mean, HR group always wants to know if they're going to, if you're going to get back the money I spend on uh, soft skills training. And we were no different. We needed to know if this was going to work. And so it was really pretty simple, actually. We just added up the costs of the sessions. Now, this is the enlightened leadership uh, portion that we paid, all of the travel, uh, all of the. And the enlightened leadership was about fifteen grand, as I recall. It, it was. It okay. Was about 15. All right. And. Uh, and the cost of materials, booking the rooms, you know, the food, everything. Put it all in one place. And then we went through the session. And at the end of the session, um, the question number five on the framework process asks you to, uh, to, to do something. You know, what are you going to do with this? And this is literally what happened. They would sign up on the acetate for how much money, profit, bottom line profit, if it was the sales department, it was uh, less, the, less the cost of goods to get to gross profit. If it was the credit department, it was how much more that they could get back in so that you save the interest because you got the money earlier. Uh, manufacturing was able to bring in some things. So each one of the functions in, in this particular thing, we had several functions in the company together. And they would each step to the plate and they would say, how much do I think I can earn extra as a result of what I just learned in the session in the last day and a half or two? And so that's what they did. They signed, they, they signed up. And, uh, now, there was something significant about the timing. Oh, the timing, yeah. Um, the thing that was significant about this timing was that their brand plans or their profit plans, whatever you, wanna, whatever you call it, was made for the year. It was in November. And so their brand for, for the plan next year, or right? profit plan for the next okay. year was already committed to. So because of what was going on in the session and how they felt good about what they could do with these new tools they had, they signed up for some more money. And when they got done signing up for it, we did it in five separate countries. Two to one, six to one, nine to one, ten to one, 13 to 1 return based off you know off the cost of the product. Now wow. remember these are this these happen to be in Europe and so it costs money to send me over there too. So these are heavy duty uh, plane fares, enlightened leadership costs, hotel rooms, people coming in from different countries. And these are uh, these are actual these are when it's all said and done, the actual numbers, right? These are actual numbers. Okay. So the first part they predicted. No, no, the first part was the actual numbers of the cost. Yeah. The second part was the prediction, but the two to one, six to one, etc., was real numbers delivered, mm. not the estimate that they had. Yeah. No, the real numbers yeah. that they, 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 they did. So it was, uh, it was Excellent. significant. Yes. Absolutely. So, so, so no, no one at the executive level were complaining about the cost of training, were they? Uh, they never, <laughs> they never. Uh, Actually, questioned my budget. Once. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you know, uh, I think this is powerful, and I invite you to consider using this in your own environment. But I, but I also want to take the opportunity, and AJ didn't know I was going to do this part, but I want to challenge you. It occurs to me 
But right now, we're inviting you, or soon will be inviting you, to sign up for Making Managers into Leaders Institute. Now, Making Managers into Leaders Institute is going to be embarrassingly inexpensive. You know, I mean, I, and in fact, I'm, I'm a little bit of concern that they may think it's so cheap it couldn't be worth very much. But, you know, if, if, it, if it costs a few hundred dollars a month, for instance, I'd like to invite you to join this program, uh, take the Making Managers into Leaders webinar series, get some coaching as you go through the process, get, you know, maybe have your team involved with that whole process. And over two to three months, at a relatively leisurely pace, learn these tools, use these tools, and start tracking this very specific hard number value that you're getting from this, just like AJ's executives were doing as well. And when it's all said and done, I invite you to create a report to your top-level management, to your HR, wherever it makes sense to send it to, and let them know what you actually created there. It's, it's possible. Uh, one, one, one other thing I think that we probably should mention, and that is that every, supposing you have a team of 100 people and there's maybe 12 that are significant, you can use this process with the 12. You don't have to have the 100 people through the making managers into leaders. Mm. The tools you receive mm. in this allows you to uh, impact the group. It's in the fact, leverage thing, isn't it's it? It's the leverage thing. In fact, the people that went through these sessions in these five different countries did not have any exposure to the managers uh, making making managers into leaders process prior to engaging in those sessions. It was that powerful. It is yeah. that powerful. And so, and and the people that were actually creating the results throughout the year that they went back and managed, most of those had not been exposed. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, very, very valid point. So, uh, thank you very much, AJ. You're welcome, and and best of luck to you.